All right. <laughs> this is Killer's formula about polyhedrons again, which is usually called Euler's characteristic. Okay, let's start. So this is V minus E plus F equals 2, which is vertex minus edge plus space equals 2. And in elementary school, I learned it as space plus vertex minus edge equals 2. So this is Euler. So Leonard Euler was a pioneering Swiss mathematician and physics who spent most of his life in Russia and Germany. He was born on Friday, April 15th. Um, 1707 at the age, and at the age of 76 he died on Thursday September 18 1783 and fun fact again at the bottom right here oh, he's black. okay right there his signature would be written as that Leon and then H period you would okay some keywords are polyhedron face or vertex and edge. So polyhedron, a three-dimensional geometric figure whose sides are polygons. So here's the face, aka sides, right here and here and here. Okay. okay. Face. One of the flat surfaces making up a polyhedron. The faces of a polyhedron are all polygons. So here's the face, this thing, the squares. All right. And the vertex. The vertex is a corner or the pointed parts of a polyhedron. The vertex would be called vertices if there are more than one. So like here. Here, 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 and there. Next, the edge. So the edge is a line or border at which two surfaces of a solid object meet. Like right here, that's the edge. And that, those things. Okay, so what is Euler's formula? Euler's formula is to find out if to find out if a number of faces, vertices, and edges given can create a polyhedron. So here's our first equation. So f equals six, v equals eight, and e equals twelve. So we're gonna try that. All right. So I've already started it by putting six plus eight minus twelve equals two. So we're gonna find out that creates a polyhedron. So we're gonna do this, no, no, wait. We're gonna do this first, these two. So six plus eight equals 14, and minus 12 equals two. And 14 minus 12, now we're doing this, equals, time where it doesn't give you the variable expression like this or it doesn't tell you e or it doesn't tell you v or the vertex or the face so we're gonna have a little trouble now so we're gonna try to find out what e equals so face equals 20 v equals 12 and e is what we're gonna try to find out all right so we're gonna do your way okay so doing your way so we put f as 20 and plus v equals 12 minus e equals, we can't find that out. So we're going to just make a border where we put the unknown here, unknown variable expression, and the known right here. So we know that 
20 is a known expression, so we put 20 here. And we know that positive 12 is a known, so we put positive 12 here. And we don't know what negative e equals, so we're putting it in the unknown. But since it's the other side of the equal sign, it has to be the opposite, so now it's on positive e. So got that now. And we know that this is equals 2, so that's a positive 2. So we put the opposite and put negative 2. And 20 plus, plus 12 equals 32 minus 2. And 32 minus 2 equals 13. So e has to equal 30.